What on earth is a topology? Hey everyone, it's Brian helping you with all the tips, tricks, and lessons to help you get better and actually like math. In this video, I'm telling you about what a topology is. It's kind of an abstract subject that not many people get a chance to take. So I'm gonna show you the definition of a topology so you can tell all your friends. Basically, a topology is a set of sets satisfying three rules. So first we'll need a set, call that set X, and we'll say T is a topology on X. if these following three things hold. So number one, both the empty set, the set with no elements, and the set X itself have to be in T, have to be in the topology. Now actually, if these are the only things in the topology, that is actually a topology itself. It's called the indiscrete topology, but that's another video. If you have two elements, a and B in the topology, and remember these are actually sets, then their intersection is also in the topology. So we say that the topology is closed under finite intersection. And lastly, if you have any number of elements in T in your topology, any number of sets, their union is also in T, is also in the topology. So we say that T is closed under arbitrary unions. And you'll see my notation here, I just said A sub I. So I is just like an indexing set, you can think of it like the first element, the second element, the third element, it's just a way for us to categorize these things. And this is just a fancy notation for the union uh, of all of them. So this is basically just saying for each element in the topology, their union is also in the topology. And union is just a mathematical way of saying both. So uh, A union B would be everything from A and also everything from B. And so if you have these three things, if you have any set X, then T is a topology on X, the set of sets, or rather a set of subsets of X, if it satisfies these three conditions. Let's do an example. So here I have some arbitrary set X, which has three elements, A, B, and C. And let's create some topologies on X. Okay, so now I've created this thing I've called T that has the empty set, the singleton A, it's just the set containing only the element A, and also the set X itself. And is this a topology? Well, we have to check. So let's see, number one, is the empty set in there? Well, yep, it's right there. So the empty set is in T, that's good. Is the entire set, the ambient set X in T? Ah, well, it's right there. So yes, X is also in T. So that means, okay, Good, satisfied criterion number one. What's the second criterion? Well, if I take any intersection of two elements in my topology, that also has to be an element of the topology. So let's intersect these things. Okay, well, what's, what's the empty set intersect any set? Well, it's the empty set, right? And that's sort of a set definition thing. Anything intersected with the empty set is the empty set. If I intersect the set containing A or the set X with the empty set, I get the empty set, which is an element of T. So we're good with this. What happens if I intersect the set A with X? Well, A is an element of X. So the intersection of A and X is just A. Well, A is an element of our topology. So we can see here that no matter which way I intersect any two elements, they're an element in the set. So we've passed the second criterion for a topology. Let's check the third criterion. It can, it's closed under arbitrary union. So I can take the union of any of these things and it should be in the set. Or I can take the union of all of them and it should be in the set. So let's see. Well, the union of the empty set with anything is just that thing. So for example, the union of the empty set and the set containing A is just the set containing A, which we said is an element of our topology. So that's a good check. Um, what happens if I take the union of all three of these things? The empty set, union the set containing A, union X. 
Well, the empty set, union with anything, is just that thing. And A is already an element of X. So X union the set containing A is just X, right? Because A is a subset of X. So this is also in T by definition. And you can check, it's sort of, I could list all the ways to do this, but you can see that no matter how you union any of those things, that thing is still in T, is still in the topology. And so those are the three criterion. And maybe this seems a little weird why we're doing this, but this, we can see, satisfies the three criterion for a topology. So this T is a topology on the set X. Another way of looking at this is kind of by drawing a picture. So let's do the same sort of thing with A, B, and C. So we'll just draw circles or ovals or even rectangles around these things. And we'll let those open rectangles or circles be the elements of our topology. I mean, really, the elements of topologies are open sets, right? The elements of topologies are sets. We call them open sets. And so that's what I'm gonna draw here. And we're gonna decide if this is a topology or not. So I'm just gonna draw, um, I'm gonna draw some sets, some open sets. I'll even draw it here. And okay, is this a topology? Well, let's see. Um, the empty set is in here, right? So I'll call these open sets T. Um, it's in there, because I, it's in there, we say vacuously, right? I didn't, I can't draw it, so uh, it's in there. Well, what about, oh, what about intersection? Do I have any of these circles intersecting? Well, I've got this big circle intersecting with this big circle, and where's the, where's their intersection? Where's their overlap? Well, they overlap at B. Is there a circle around B? Yes, there is, right? So the intersection of the circle containing BC, the intersection of the circle containing AB is B, and there's a circle around B. So the second criterion holds, and the third criterion is arbitrary unions. Well, if I try to union any of these things, we run into a problem, and maybe you already recognize I kind of skipped over the very first thing. If I take this circle around A and B, and I take this circle, around B and C, why then I have a set containing A, B, and C. But I don't have any set containing A, B, and C. So the third failed, and actually the first failed too. If you remember, what was the first criterion? X itself also has to be in the typology. So for this to be a real typology, I need a big circle containing all of them. So if I include this big circle, then X is in the topology and we will be closed under arbitrary union. And so this picture here represents another topology on X. In this video, we quickly introduced what a topology on a set is. We did an example with arbitrary points, and then we did an example, or rather a not example, with pictures. So I hope you got something out of this video. If you wanna see more videos on topology, let me know in the comments, and have a great day.